And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. Now isn't this interesting? To me it's very interesting. The apostles are asking the Lord to increase their faith. Now, I certainly would like to increase my faith and to grow. And I would think that every person born of God would also want to increase their faith. And right here, Jesus is going to tell us how to increase our faith. Now, remember these verses uh, in Matthew 17, Luke 17? Uh, Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith, as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove. And nothing shall be impossible unto you. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto this sick mind tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it shall, and it should obey you. Now, th these are two examples of if you had faith, if you had great faith, there would be nothing impossible for you. And of course, in Hebrews 11, we read about the importance and the impact faith has. Right? It's always been um, it's always been a, a, about faith it's always been about faith right and you look at Hebrews 11 you notice the word is mentioned a few times right right it's all it's always about faith it's always been about faith all right, so, and, and so here in Luke 17, the apostles said unto the Lord, increase our faith. So Jesus isn't just saying, hey, if you had great faith, you could do anything. Now he's going to tell us. He's going to tell us exactly how we can increase our faith. And now let me just read. Okay? But which of you, having a servant plowing or feeding cattle, will say unto him by and by, when he has come up from the field, go and sit down to me? And will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself, and serve me, till I have eaten and drunken, and afterward thou shalt eat and drink. Does he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I trow not. So likewise, ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. That's it right there. Say likewise ye. When you've done all the things commanded of you, say to yourself, I am an unprofitable servant. I have done that which was my duty to do. What are you taking credit for, anyways? What did you do? You you think you did something special? Hmm? Is that you think you'll get a special extra re reward in heaven? Is that what you think? I mean, just be honest, right? 
And then once you're honest and you say it out loud, maybe it'll occur to you that you, what you thought was in terrible error. Imagine this. You think, well, I served the Lord for 40 years, 50, 70 years, 80 years. I served the Lord. So for all eternity, I'm going to have these extra rewards. Right? So in other words, because I did all this and I'm good at two shoes, I'm going to have an advantage over you for all eternity. Yabba dabba doo. You believe that? Is that what you believe? Well, if you believe that, then you should also believe that another man will have an advantage over you also for all eternity. Right? Is that what, I mean, have you put any thought into this? You're not you're not laying down a blessing you're laying down a curse for yourself you for all eternity you're gonna be at a disadvantage that's really what you're saying oh yeah but I'll have an advantage over Joe because Joe only served the Lord one year and I've been serving the Lord for 50 years no what and by the way what what exactly is the this extra reward extra blessing or whatever you want to call it what are you gonna that you're gonna have are you gonna have an extra crown on your head why for what what good is that what what are you gonna have that is another person isn't going to have in the life to come hereafter. Right? I think about it. All we have done that are born of God is what we're commanded to do. We have not done anything that warrants extra, you know, crowns, extra rewards. And you're essentially saying that the gift of everlasting life is not enough. I want more. That's just something wrong with your heart. I mean that. There's something wrong with these people that teach this idea that they will get extra rewards for good behavior here in this life, in this world. That's not true. It's in direct contradiction, confliction with the Word of God. Again, what have you done? What are you doing? What do you think you're going to do to gain an advantage over another man? I'm telling you, you're not going to get an advantage over another man for all eternity. You're not going to have an advantage over me for all eternity. That's not going to happen. Now that can be good or bad depending on how you look at it. It ought to be good to those of us that are born of God. Bad to those who want evil for all eternity. Really. Okay. All right, so we are unprofitable servants. That's the mentality that we ought to have so that our faith will increase. Right? Think about John chapter 3. Those of us that are born of God. Alright, let's go there real quick. The wind blows where it lists and 
thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Where we came from and where we're going, no one knows. We are just flowing with the Spirit of God. We are in the Spirit of God. Now, the Spirit of God is in us. Alright, so knowing that, knowing that, then we are just going with the Spirit. We are not making gains over another son of God. We're not making gains over God. We are in the Spirit. And just like the wind blows where it lists, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. Right? We are born of the Spirit of God. So, knowing, knowing that we <laughs> essentially, I mean, really, we have everything that we could possibly ask for. We couldn't ask to have more than what we've already been given. Now, in this life, even, right? Because we have the Spirit of God, we, right now, we have it. Those of us that are born of God, we have everything we could ever want. We couldn't ask for anything more. Right? We have everlasting life. What more do you want? You have the Spirit of God inside of you. You are born of God. You are born of that Spirit of God and you will never die. What more do you want? But knowing that, then I think, in my opinion, I, I think you'd be you ought to be able to just have peace. That knowing that you've got it all, right? And then, of course, soon enough, there will come a time when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven and we will be transformed into our glorified body. That will come soon enough. Got no, nothing to worry about there. That will happen. But for right now, we got everything we could possibly want. There's nothing more. Nothing more that we need. Wait, in the life to come hereafter, we're, we have it all. Right now and in the life to come hereafter. So really, there's nothing for us to profit more. How can you profit more when you've got it all? Right? Okay. So anyways, I just want to share with you that, my thoughts on that. I mean, to me, it's, it's very interesting. Very interesting. Increase our faith. Increase our faith. And he says, say to yourself, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty. That's what he's talking about right there. That's the mentality that we can have to help increase our faith. See, give it all to God, right? All glory to God right so anyways 